Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Chomont, and I'm not wasting any time today. I'm jumping right on in on this one. Angel Reese told everyone what her injury is. She says she has a hairline fracture in a bone in her wrist. From what I have read, the fracture is presumed to be in a scaphoid bone which does have a blood flow situation and there could be long-term damage if it's potentially injured worse. Um, I want to get my feedback on this because she created a, a video to let us all know what her injury specifically was, but there's a few key things. So, okay. So number one, let me, let me first say, I can't confirm that it's the scaphoid bone. I know what I've read people who claim to be doctors on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter say, but I can't confirm the actual bone that was injured. What I can confirm is that she claims it was a hairline fracture, not a full fracture. And she continued to play on that hairline fracture after she supposedly injured her wrist during the game versus the Los Angeles Sparks. And she continued to actually shoot the ball. So the injury that she sustained was not an injury that would hold most people out unless the pain was was way too intense. I want you to listen to the video that she dropped on TikTok while in her basketball outfit. And I want to point this out because that is what she wore to a game to sit on the bench. No one is sitting here going to say that she should be wearing a three-piece suit. But at the very least, she should be wearing more than a sports bra. Showing off half of her upper body. But this is the same person that says, don't sexualize me. This is the same person that says, don't objectify me. Whatever the hell that means. All these things. But I get to look at literally, literally, and you'll, you'll, you'll know why I just said it, literally, from the bottom of your breasts to below your belly button. The only time you see that much skin on a woman, typically, is when a woman is in a bikini. On the beach. But I will play this video for you, and I will comment on it when... After it's played. And I did record this in 1.25 speed because it was a four and a half minute clip. <clears throat> the word is asking. I, I I'm a grammar, I'm a grammar junkie. I have a degree in, in, in journalism. I Grammar is a pet peeve of mine, and yes, we can all speak with slang and, and all that shit. But pronunciation of words is a, is a peeve. The word is asking, A-S-K. It's not axing. You're not chopping down a tree. Asking. Why is that such a difficult word for certain individuals to pronounce? Or is it that you just choose to pronounce it? in a way that makes you sound fucking dumb. And the hand movements, this stuff. You can do this entire video and not have all this. And the, you'll see. And have some clarity of what's going on with me. So y'all know I hurt my wrist. Um, I'm out for the season. I fell on my hand when I got the hand one, but I fell back, fell on my hand. And it is a small crack in my bone. Basically, the doctors told me that I could either not get surgery or have surgery. The risk of that. The doctors told me I could get surgery or not get surgery. Wow. Break, breaking news. Not having surgery, I could literally have arthritis. Um, I could literally have arthritis. I could literally have arthritis. By not having surgery, you could literally have arthritis. Or your bone could just heal there's a possibility that you wouldn't have arthritis, correct? The doctor said, I could possibly have arthritis. Not that you would have arthritis, 
that you could have arthritis. The same way people could get arrested for DUI if they drink and drive, but so many people choose to drink and drive. <laughs> I don't know. Although this is not comparable. This is your job, and that's a social activity, yet people still in a social activity choose to do something illegal, but in their job, they'll choose to not try to continue to do their job. Yeah, make that one make that make sense. 22 years old, that wasn't an option. I'm 22 years old. That wasn't an option. I'm, I don't know what that. I don't. I don't know. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you typing? Are you? A, are you a? Are you a secretary? You need a computer? I. I. I people are gonna say that I'm mean. I don't care. Um, the bone could literally crack and literally completely. The the bone could literally crack, crack and literally shatter into. Remember, I said literally. She says literally over and over again, literally. And the hand motions. Oh, my freaking God, all the hand motions. Can you speak without running your hands in front of your face and doing all this shit? Got it right now. It's like a hairline. Literally a hairline. Literally a hairline. Shatter. Not even that big. But they're going to put like a small little screw in it. And I wasn't going for it getting any bigger. And long term, I literally could have like I literally anymore because my bone is this is a very hard place to heal because. Now she's now she's dramatizing it, right? <clears throat> and now, see, understand what you're seeing. Now she now she's dramatizing this because now she's sitting here saying, "I literally, <laughs> I literally, I'm sorry. I literally every other word is just driving me crazy. I literally could have not played any longer." Obviously, the blood flow thing is a concern. It wasn't an issue, though, at the moment, because if it had been an issue, with the, if, if, if the blood flow thing was an issue right now, she'd have had surgery on Saturday night. Blood flow thing's not a real concern at the moment. Let's call it what it is. If it was, I've read up on this potential injury. If the blood flow issue was real, it was real right now. She'd have had surgery on, on Friday night. Fuck, fuck Saturday. She'd have had surgery Friday after the game. Definitely by Saturday. You wouldn't be waiting till Tuesday. Because by that point, your thing would have been necrotic. Your, 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 your wrist would have gone necrotic and there'd have been problems. So it's not a matter of there's a problem with blood flow at the moment. Maybe if she injured it worse, there could be. The blood flow is like literally slid to the Literally. That was an option. So I got, I'm getting surgery on Tuesday. Um, I'm literally going to be in a hard cast for... What is the reason for the... And you might say I'm making fun of her, but this is fucking embarrassing. This is embarrassing to listen to. The the lip smacking, the gut... The, the, I mean, she's not even chewing gum. She's just smacking her mouth. Every other word. And then saying literally every other word. Six, four weeks, and then I'm going to be in a... A soft cast for two weeks that is removable and then I'm back. So six weeks I'll be back to do my own thing, normal life. Um I'm not pregnant, like this is what she wore to the basketball game. This is what she wore to sit on the bench. You have a daughter. You have a daughter, gentlemen, gentlemen out there, mothers out there, but gentlemen gentlemen especially, because you know what I'm talking about. Mothers will say, Oh, she has a she's a bad body. Ooh, 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 ooh. She looks fire. I keep reading these damn freaking comments on these women that are, are dressing like streetwalkers going to going to WNBA games. And she's the, the queen of the streetwalker coalition and how she dresses. Her and, and Sophie Cunningham from, from Phoenix, they both dress like streetwalkers going to these games. I, completely inappropriate attire to go to a to go to a to, to to go to a basketball game, let alone to sit on the bench dressed like that. Go to the beach. Are you going to the beach? Like I said, the only time you'll ever see that much stomach on a female, on a woman, is at the beach or in your bedroom. You Would you ever see that at a workplace? No, you get fired. Would you ever see that at a restaurant? Very, very rarely, unless you're just, unless you're going on a club night. This is so, this is, this is awful. This is what she wore to a basketball game. And this is what young girls got to see her sitting on the end of the bench wearing. What the fuck is what is going on here? Have we lost any type of values? 
And she's talking about I'm not pregnant. That was never a thing. One, let's just make, I just want y'all to make anything clear. I want to make this crystal, crystal, crystal clear. I want to make this crystal, crystal clear. I want to make it crystal, crystal clear. I don't have a man to have kids. I don't. You don't need a man to have kids. I, I just want to give you that little lesson in, in, in these things. You don't need to actually have a man in terms of a boyfriend to have kids. It's been done before. Just, just so you were, Angel. It's been done before. I'm glad that at least... Your mind is right in that regard that you're not going to have kids without a husband, I would hope. So why most that's why all women should do it is to not have kids without a husband. That's the ideal way. I have a ring to have kids. I am 22 with no kids. And I'm not coming home to the kids. So that's not going to be a thing anytime soon. Just want you to know that because I know y'all like to have some clicks. No one gives a shit. There's no clicks on this. No one gives a shit. I never even... Pre Who presumed that your injury was pregnancy? I didn't presume that. I didn't care about that. I, pff, In fact, it was the last thing in my mind because I don't think that there's any man on the face of the earth that would, would be have any sense in having a child with you the way you behave. You're not, a, you're not motherly material right now. I don't know if you'll ever be... If this is how you are at 35, you wouldn't be mother, motherly material then. I mean, yes, I know women have... women. Who should not be mothers or mothers <laughs> have I'm sorry, women who don't have any business being mothers are have kids and they're horrendous mothers. This type of behavior, this type of attitude, Lord have mercy. I would I, I cringe for our future if this is if this is how she is when she's ready to have children. I pray that she's not. I pray that she matures in some capacity to not sound like this and behave like this. Yeah, I need some clicks to find something to gag over, but that's not that. Did I pick an injury? Let's be real. I literally put my ankle like a, a golf ball. Like a little golf ball. I literally played against Iowa with a golf ball. Now is your excuse for why you lost. I know. We, we know. We, we know. You, you had the, now it was a golf ball. Now now your, your ankle had a golf ball during the game. Yeah. All righty. When we played against Iowa. And uh, like pain, you know I'm hurt when like I can't play like they might have to tell me, like, you, you, you shut down, like, you can't play. That's what they were telling me yesterday, like, you shut down, like, you can't play. And I was like, all right, well, I do as best of my career. Like, obviously, they gave me options to play. And, like, boom. Obviously, they gave me, see, she, she contradicted herself in the same sentence. Shut it down. But obviously, they gave me the option to play. So she had the option to play. And that's why I call this a fake injury. It's not a fake injury in terms of she's not hurt. I said she was hurt. I, she's probably that, that's why I said is there's are you hurt or are you injured? If you're hurt, you can play. If you're injured, you cannot play. There are ways I am sure to protect the hand. A brace, something, padding. There are the same way football players are managed to play with a broken arm and and, and a bro a broken hand, and they're playing football. They cast it up. And they play. I'm not saying you can cast it up in basketball, but there's padding, there's a brace, there's a support. There are things that you can do to play. Now, is it wise? Probably not. Is it the best decision? Probably not. But it doesn't mean you can't play. And for someone who claims to be such a dog, you would think that with five games left in the season, two weeks, it's literally. Literally two weeks, you would find a way to be out there. Wrap your hand up very thick. I don't know. Maybe just grab rebounds and don't try to shoot the ball because you can't shoot. Don't fall on the ground all the damn time. I mean, you can avoid. People can avoid falling on the ground. Trust me. Like you can avoid. You can avoid falling on the ground. Be with the pain as tolerated, but like it's not worth it. Like my. So you could have played if you could tolerate. You could have played if you could have tolerated whatever pain you had. She chose not to. She chose the other option and her season. The other word for that is she chose to quit. Uh, I want to have a long career in the league. I want to play basketball for a while, so it's not worth it. So, yeah. So, in the meantime, I will just be in my hard cast for four weeks when I get surgery on Tuesday. And then um, that time, I'm just going to be lifting 
um, running, conditioning. Lifting with the other hand. Offhand, I thought she was damn. Offhand, I thought she was ambidextrous. That's what she keeps telling us. She's ambidextrous. Her offhand, I thought she was ambidextrous. Let me write it out here. My, my career, uh, I want to have a long career in the league. I want to play basketball for a while, so it's not worth it. So, yeah. So, in the meantime, I mean, shooting my offhand, dribbling, doing stuff with my offhand, um, working on my nutrition, um, modeling still, podcasting still, being a baddie still, modeling still. I'm modeling. She really thinks she's a model. Did someone lie to her at some point? She really believes she's a model. She said it twice. Oh, she also said her podcast, because her podcast is critically important. Her podcast, that critical, that's the reason she stopped playing. That's the reason she decided to call out sick from work. It's her podcast. It's in the way. The podcast is in the way of playing basketball. Her modeling career is in the way of play. Apparently, in the next six weeks, with a with with the with the arm a, a, a soft or hard cast on her on her arm, she's gonna model. Yeah, I am sure all the modeling companies around are gonna want to see you modeling with a cast on your arm. Yeah, that that sounds real logical, doesn't it? It sounds like the lo most logical thing to do. Oh, and being a baddie. Uh, I know that's her focus. Her focus is everything except basketball. But be a baddie. I'm gonna keep being a baddie. I'm gonna keep modeling. I think I already said that still. And supporting my teammates and like them. <clears throat> I bar. Well, not far, but on the bench. Um, yeah, we gotta win tonight. Still believe. Um, we're still making the playoffs. Yeah, they're just better without. Team. Yeah, they're better without you. They proved that. Just be positive. And it's not easy as 22. The 22 year old run. It's not easy as a 22 year old. Oh, woe is me. God, the emotional anguish of being a 22 year old in the world. It's so hard. Lord have mercy. This woman has no idea what's in store for her in life. Her life is so difficult. God bless. You're a multimillionaire at 22. Congratulations. Your life is a fucking tragedy. I give myself grace. I'm so happy uh, for my rookie year. I did amazing <clears throat> for my expectations, but I, what I wanted. Obviously, I wanted more, but God's timing is not what's my timing. So, I have to understand that. That's why I'm in such good spirits because I've been through this before and it's literally small to a giant. So I'm completely fine. Um, I'm looking forward to this minor setback to a major comeback. Year two is about to be scary hours. Like, I, like that's crazy. My last bucket was a three. And that's just knowing, like, going into my second year. Like, even going to the Marble League, like, it's up. So I'm excited. I love you guys so much. And thanks for supporting me. And wish me luck for surgery on Tuesday. And I'm going to be a baddie with a cast. Oh, she's a baddie again. So if y'all see me somewhere with a cast, mind y'all business. Oh yeah, new podcast episode dropping Thursday too. And keep shopping Reebok and Reese's Pieces. And Bobby Anna coming back, Bust Down coming back, Long Nail, all that stuff I'm not playing right now. Yeah, bye. Oh my God. That's cringy. That's just, that's just so cringy. It's cringe. And you see why people, while there are a lot of people that don't like that. It's not hard to see. That was a self-promoting, a culture of me type of post. She is the one that released it to the media. I'm sorry, not the media. She is the one that released the information of her sitting out the year 40 minutes before the team released it. I looked at the timestamps of the, of the tweets. Her tweet was at 9.06. The Chicago Sky's tweet was at 9.46 p.m. on September 7th. She released the information. This is where... Have you ever seen a professional football player release his injury information publicly prior to a team ever doing it? No. No. So, yes, she does have an actual boo-boo. She does have a hairline fracture. And, yes, there's always the possibility of it becoming worse and then becoming a problem. But where I come from... You find a way to play. Like I said, I was always told if you're not, 
if you're hurt, you can play. If you're injured, you can't. And she was told she was hurt. She was told she had the option to play. She chose herself over her team. Is that the best that was that the best decision to make for her? Maybe. Maybe it was. Would I would other people make a different decision? Possibly. Yes, possibly no. It depends on the person. But there are there are pro athletes that go through hell to be on the floor, on the field, on the ice that have far worse boo-boos than that hairline fracture in her wrist. And it's not like she can make shots anyhow, generally speaking. So if she shoots 35% from the field, what's new? Or maybe she would adjust her game to avoid taking those terrible shots and instead of grabbing the rebound and putting it back up, grab the rebound and kick it back out. That's an option. But she chose neither of those options. She chose to sit out. She chose to quit. She chose, okay, I'm going to have surgery. I wish her the best in her surgical procedure. Surgery is always surgery is always dangerous. You never know what can happen. So I wish her the best in her surgery. I hope it goes well for her. And I hope that she heals up to where she can play and not have excuses for why she doesn't make jump shots next year. Why she can't make layups next year. But she's supposed to be ambidextrous. If you're ambidextrous, you should be able to make play, plays with your, your right hand too. So you should, be able to, you should be able to move to your right hand instead of your left. But I guess not. I guess she's not really that ambidextrous because she just said my offhand. Well, people who are switch hitters in baseball can hit both ways. <laughs> she elected surgery over playing. That's the point of this video. She chose surgery over playing. She made that call. She made her decision. And she, of course, she's the one that releases this again, not her team. On a TikTok video, no less. Oh, yeah. Shit. I thought she wasn't on social media. That's what she told us also. She's not on social media. I don't think her manager made that video. She's on social and she lied about it. But what's new? Expect nothing less. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Am I an asshole? <laughs> Am I a dick? Or, or did you hear exactly what I heard? A player that could play who chose to have surgery rather than try to finish the season. Look, I'm not sitting here saying that she shouldn't have surgery. I'm saying that she could have waited, she could have attempted to play. And if the pain was too unbearable, then you just then you're like, no, I can't do this. And then you you get it. But she played nine more minutes of that game and had no issues. And as you, as she told you, and my last shot was a three. So if your last shot was a three with that hairline fracture in your wrist, it couldn't have been hurting that damn bad. But what do I know? Maybe the adrenaline wore off, the excitement wore off, and the next day her hand was throbbing. It's possible. But she could have played. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Sure, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Come on now.